The heck? It's full of nanites stuck in that sink. Not only this, there seems to be some kind of flower. Dr. Mink must have flushed some experiments. What? No, I've never done such a thing. I have my own sink. Then, what are they doing here? Beats me. <laughs> the heck? It's full of Not only this, Dr. Mink m What? Then... Beats me. Okay. Again? Gonna solve this myself. That'll be faster. <laughs> you better reply, man. Or care to become suspect number one. Nichts. Come on! Do you What do you think I'm done now? So, detective, how long is this going to take? Just um I'm not the Hä? Es schon spät. Dad, Daddy. Still dead. I'm afraid so. Tidy? Yep. Good boy. What would you do in my place? Turn it. We need. Haben wir auch alles? Okay, ich mach doch mal. Nein, das Bild habe ich überprüft <lacht> mehrmals. According to the map. What are you doing? <lacht> Something's off. What do you mean, Mr. Brock? Just a hunch. Ich hab da mehrfach drauf geklickt. Definitiv. Huh. Okay. Oh, you broke the wall? Oops. I barely touched it. Some paper thin slab was obstructing this. A hole? Looks like it. And this leads right to your room, Dr. Mink. I hadn't no idea. It's small. No one would fit. I wonder if anything got through there, though. That's up to us to find out. On the other side, I can see... Yep. Definitely Dr. Mink's office. There's a table with a box of nanites on it. My precious nanites! Don't tell me someone used them! Then I won't tell you. It's pure conjecture at this point. Oh, Tidy hat mit seinen Armen die Naniten rausgeholt. Dead Daddy. Still dead. I'm afraid so. Okay. Dead. I need to understand. You're not. Okay. All the rest. You bet. This leads to Dr. Hush's room. What a surprise. I'm hoping you'll fix this before leaving. What about your bot minion, huh? I'd like to see him try. Oh, right. I forgot it could. It can? Of course. We wouldn't do that kind of laborious job ourselves. Huh. For an instant, I forgot who I was talking to. Hmm. On for can't see any okay, da kommt nichts an Input raus. Aber er kann die Naniten äh, geholt haben und er kann es doch wieder reparieren, hat er gerade eben gesagt. Sagt er uns jetzt noch ein bisschen mehr? Nein. Just. Okay, ich rede jetzt noch mal mit Dings. Das ist ja richtig Detektivarbeit, aber manchmal ist es echt... Still dead. Nothing. Heidi? Yep. Good boy. Okay, warte mal. Vielleicht weiß der. Got more questions. Auch nicht. Stay put. I don't have all day, you know. Ich muss. Die habe ich doch schon über. Also jetzt ist aber langsamer gut. Die habe ich doch mehrfach. I'm surprised to see only one cup in here. Doesn't Dr. Hush drink also coffee? Also doch unendlich. He anklicken. does. Actually, he always drinks his coffee in the restroom. I know him. He couldn't bear spilling a few drops on his precious materials Warum while working in his office. But he uses auto-degradable cups. Throw them into the sink and they're automatically reduced into powder. I prefer solid cups. I don't care what they say about lack of hygiene or whatever. Coffee tastes better in it. Yeah, I can relate to that. 
Yep, there was coffee in there. So, what does this mean? That someone drank coffee? Oh, I would have thought someone was in the restroom recently, and you'd ask the staff who drank it. Yeah, sounds good. Did you drink that coffee, Mink? It's Dr. Mink for you. And yes. When, exactly? Around 4.40. I always get a bit peckish during Techno Junkie. Is that some kind of show? Yes. It lasts for 30 minutes approximately, so I must have went out of the restroom at around 5. No nanite on that coffee cup? This shouldn't be a surprise. And yet... Can anyone modify the information there? Of course not. It's read-only. 100% automatized. Good to know. Haut doch ungefähr hin. Gegen 5 ist er gegangen. Er ist gegangen, als er kam. Und danach ist Feierabend. Aber wo ist er hingegangen? Er hat den Raum verlassen. Dr. Hush's room. If I'm reading this correctly, Dr. Hush was last recorded at 5.04, then disappeared. Wait a sec. Why did you open that door at 5.10? I told you, I checked the rooms regularly. Right after the doctor went out? Uh, seems so. My memory is confused. Hmm. Hatten wir, hatten wir, hatten wir. Hat er schon wieder aufgeschrieben? Okay. After Dr. Hush and Tidy, Dr. Mink also entered the room. I wonder if their path crossed there. Dr. Mink's room? What a surprise. Despite the corpse being basically, Dr. Mink went out. The time match, I guess genau. he's simply... In any case, Dr. Hush, that doesn't make much... Genau. I'm asking, who opened the main entrance this morning at 4.30? I told you, it was me. Right. Looks like he performed another check-in. Yep, that's when I realized Dr. Hush was nowhere to be found. I called the cops discreetly. Okay. okay. Dr. Hush, if I'm reading this, man, ah. wait a second. Why did... Told you. Right after... Uh, see, my memory... Hmm. Oder irgendwas anderes übersehen? Nein. Again? I'm gonna solve... <laughs> you... Come on! Do you... What do you think I'm doing? Don't know. So, I've got more questions. Still can't believe you did this. It's a crucial clue. Yeah, right. Stay put. I don't have all day, you know. I need to understand. You'll know. I'll look around for you better. Also, ich besitze heute irgendwie geistig. Also, Zahnräder funktionieren nicht. Da, 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 hab ich doch. Warum doch? I should inspect this further. Only one way to do it. Couldn't you do this more gently? I don't have all day, you know. Wahrscheinlich weiß in der zweiten Phase wir drehen noch mal alles auf links und ich habe es bisher noch nicht angeguckt. Guck mal, das war eine Ad eben gerade gewesen. Ich habe es gesehen da. Nice. Kann man gut gebrauchen. Plenty of room now. So, kleine Runde Dinge sind Geld. Looks like pills. Oh. Yep. Definitely pills. Whose are they? Don't look at me. I've never seen those. Is Dr. Hush taking some medication? That's highly probable. No one else lives here. Keep in mind, I've barely had contact with him lately. Maybe you should analyze them. Good idea. I'm a pillow, okay. Also, wenn wir zurückkommen, sind die Pillen weg. Das ist eine Axel 5000 Pille in einer Dosierung von 1 BG. Axel 500? 500. Never heard of it. Is there a specific topic you're yeah. let me think? Hmm. That's a drug for patients suffering from defective organs, acting slower than normal. Keine körperliche Aktivität. Excel 500 ist der Boost, den sie brauchen. Lassen sie ihren Körper stärken, damit sie immer in Form und jung wie ein junges Huhn bleiben. Sounds more like an ad than medication. Dr. Mink, 
Did you know your colleague took these? No, but that does make sense. We don't exactly have a lot of physical activity. I don't take this. I prefer the all-in-one menu. All-in-one? It's regular powder food with stimulants incorporating the exact and appropriate dose of food based on our medical tracking. Oh, nothing surprises me anymore. So, did... Just a moment. I'm not the only one here. Ich guck jetzt gleich noch mal alles durch hier. A box of ants. Alive. My favorites. Very fresh and crunchy. I thought you'd use them for experiments. We do. But nothing wrong with taking a snack sometimes. <laughs> I'm starting to like you. What restroom doesn't have its coffee machine? Knowing them, I bet this produces other drinks too. No, just coffee. Really? We don't need anything else. Designing it for other uses would be a waste of resources. Uh, good point. Okay, jetzt habe ich aber alles. Komm. Ey, das ist ein Raum, ein Regal mit nur Materialien. Hier. Parts for experiments, maybe? That's amazing. Not a single part is jutting out of this furniture. This could be called an organized mess. Dr. Hush is a maniac. He hates when something isn't where it belongs. So he taught his maintenance bot to tidy items like this. I remember him going insane once because I didn't put my coffee exactly at the center of the table. Yeah, well, all scientists are a bit eccentric. What do you mean? I'm not eccentric. Nein. There's an exception to each rule. Mm, you do have a point. Brock one, scientist zero. <laughs> I feel I've got all the hints I need. Time to gather everyone. Let's talk to Dr. Oh. Mink. Der Roboter war's. Der hat nicht sauber gemacht. I need to understand. You're not. I'll look around. You bet. Okay, warte mal. Aber wir müssen mit unserem. Again? I'm gonna solve this myself. That'll be faster. <laughs> you better reply, man. Or care to become suspect number one. Okay. Come on, do your job. What do you think I'm doing? Dunno, and that's the problem. What would you do in my turn every we need? Huh? Oh. Still dead. Okay. Stay here. Was habe ich jetzt verpasst, man? Um wo haben wir denn hier? Guck mal, wir sind erst in Kapitel 3. <lacht> 64%. Ähm Was habe ich denn jetzt übersehen? The recipient for the pipe? As empty as my willingness to examine it. Was habe ich denn jetzt übersehen? I'm not the only. Geh zu Mink, rede über die Ermittlung. Danach werde ich dir helfen, die fehlenden Hinweise für den Verhör zu bekommen. I need to understand. You're not. Aber das ist doch. Are you done investigating? Oh Gott! Ich dachte, das ist auch, da war doch nichts blau hinterlegt. Das ist ein Bug. Deswegen. Oh Gott. Okay. Yes. I'm ready to expose the truth. Impressive. Let's begin then. If you don't mind, Mr. Brock, this time I'll stay silent and listen carefully. As you wish. 
All right. We're all ears. Okay. After studying this case very carefully, this is step I have reason to believe that the person who murdered Dr. Hush is... Actually, not a person. Tidy did this. Me not person? Murder daddy? Dead daddy? I knew we shouldn't have trusted that tin can! Really? But how? He didn't have any means or motive to do this. Doch, er war That's where you're wrong, Dr. Mink. And I'm gonna prove how and why. Let's start with the actual cause of death. Um, der Tatort. Um, Naniten an der Hand. My brain is melting. Sheesh. Der Tatort. I'm starting to wonder if I'm really fit to be a detective. Uh. Hi. Ja, ähm, ich äh, wollte das sowieso gerade. Äh, hä? <lacht> Der Tatort. We retrieved a lamp right next to the body, which obviously seemed like the murder weapon. This lamp records events. The data indicates a shock happened at 11.02. 11.02? Impossible! You're right, actually. Dr. Hush's medical tracking stopped at around 5. Do you believe he could have died hours before receiving a fatal blow to the head? Tracking? Not reliable. Yes and no. It's reliable within a two-hour window. Not six. Isn't that right, Dr. Mink? Yes, I confirm it. Our tracking device is located deep inside our body and cannot be extracted. It's reliable, but to ensure our privacy rights, it only logs once every two hours. What a great idea to make our detective life easier. Murders don't happen every day, you know. That's not all. Something else proves that we've been wrong from the start. Um... Body, nanites over there. I need to sort my thoughts. Okay. Oh my. Hey. Come on, Kutz. I'm taking it back. I don't think I. You gotta be kidding. Well. No, no, no. Oh, I forgot to say. Okay. So. Detective, are you done investigating? Ah, I'm ready. All right. Oh God, this keeps up for los. Oder? Nein. Wir stehen wieder an derselben Stelle. Ich dachte schon. Ich dachte schon. Ich wollte eigentlich ähm, zurückspringen, um nochmal die Frage zu bekommen, denn irgendwie ist es schwierig, äh, ähm, das, den Zusammenhang zu finden, um die Frage zu beantworten. Das ist es hier nicht. I'm starting to wonder. Yes, definitely something there. 
but I'll keep this for the right moment. Okay. Hi. Nanites on the body. I need to sort. There's an idea there, but I feel like I'm missing a step. Hey, Mim. Yes, definitely some. The body, the lamp, and the floor. All three have red stains. This fake blood has been used to stage the murder. So, like my tie? Yes, this is Ant Burger Tomato Sauce. We've been fooled by that? I'm afraid so. There was a wrapper in the bathroom trash can, and as a specialist with that kind of food, I distinctly recognize the taste of McFlee's Ant Burger trademark sauce. This may be a coincidence. You don't know how long this wrapping has been there. Very well. I have more proof. Um. Ooh, I get it now. That's why my ant burger was already unfrozen. Yeah, it would be pretty difficult to rub frozen sauce on a corpse. So the malefactor had to defrost it first. Simple and ingenious, I must say. All right. So. If there never was a violent thump to his head, what's the true cause of death that the killer tried to hide? I have a theory. Um... Yeah, nanites could have caused death, but I need a stronger proof than this. Dr. Mink, when browsing through your medical database, I noticed an interesting note from yourself. I tried mixing those phoenixy flowers with nanites, programmed or not. It's no good. They cause the host's cardiac activity to slow down immensely, ultimately causing death. Dr. Hush was poisoned? There is evidence to support this. Dr. Hush's right hand is literally covered by nanites. Besides, Mr. Squealer here... Hey! Sorry. I mean, Mr. Guard owns a plant on his desk, which is a phoenixy. It's entirely possible Tidy overheard Dr. Mink mention this and picked up ingredients from the lab. Yeah, those robotic things have quite the memory. Tidy, no memory. Tidy cleans, tidy tidies. Tidy does not pick plants. Others could. Minky murderer. Or ratty. How dare you? He's right. Either of you had the means to do it. Tidy right. True tidy. Don't go thinking I'm on your side. I'm sticking to the facts. And by doing this, I'll eventually prove you're the main culprit. No, no. Brocky wrong. But how? Why would Dr. Hush swallow such a poison? Let me continue. Um... There must be a link. I found black stains on Dr. Hush's right hand. At first, I wasn't sure what it could be, until I found another black stain, this time on the doctor's office floor. The stain itself was very faint, as if someone had tried to clean it. But, I have no doubt, this is coffee, which can be quite tenacious. And guess what? That stain was also covered by nanites. So, the doctor drank poisonous coffee. Yeah, he must have spilled coffee on his hand while collapsing. Wait, 
I also drank coffee today. That's right. But you didn't get poison. And here's why. Uh, was mit dem Becher hier? You went to the restroom later after Dr. Hush, didn't you? The culprit had time to spill the coffee prepared in the sink before doing more. And this time, without poison. Incidentally, that's where I found my second proof. In the sink? Exactly. Now, tell me, who usually prepares coffee? Tidy. Untrue. Daddy. Minky make. Coffee sometimes. Ratty too. Yes. Is that the reason you're charging a little maintenance spot for this awful crime? I hate to say that's quite a weak link. You mean I did it, Mink? I didn't say that. <laughs> But you thought it! Tidy makes good coffee, not deadly. Calm down. I'm just starting my report. Tidy adds major point. Daddy creator cannot hurt. Love, Daddy. You know, I thought a machine like yourself would be all about precision. But that's no surprise. You're a defective bot. Tidy defective? What you're stating isn't entirely true. Sure, Tidy cannot attack his creator when it implies a direct contact. A poison, however, is quite a clever workaround to kill without direct contact. Hmm, I guess you're right. Indirect violence is on a lower level of priority and not part of the golden rule. But that still shouldn't be possible. His software programming shouldn't allow it. There is should and there is certain. I know the reason for the malfunction, though I'll save it for a more suitable time. There's something else bothering me. Nanites are only active for an hour or so. They lose their energy very quickly. Considering Tidy did not come to my room today, how could it get enough nanites for such a powerful poison? During my investigation, I happened to make an interesting discovery which may just explain how. Hmm, und zwar... Falsche Wand? That hole between the rooms. It leads directly to a table in your office. Now, what's on this table? Oh, my nanites box! Exactly. If I had a guess, those nanites are brand new and charged, aren't they? You guessed right. It's fairly safe to assume anyone with knowledge of this hole could get access to nanites. And in Tidy's case, I'm sure it's perfectly aware how to activate its bot friends. Tidy different. Little bots, not friends. Darn nanites! Killed Daddy! That's called racism, you metal mongrel. Hey, not trying to defend that piece of junk, but uh, wouldn't it be easier and more logical for the weasel to access his own nanites? What about you, sleepy agent? You seem keen to reject accusations on others. Me? Can't even access your room, you fool! Cause you can't bear anyone but yourself! I'll pretend I didn't hear that. But your assumption is stupid. There's a reason why you dug that hole and hid it. People, come on. Hear me out. Remember when I first found out there was a thin layer of plaster covering the hole? Now, who does the repairs in this lab? That metal junk. Oh my, that's true. Tidy can regenerate walls with plaster. Could it really be? You did this piece of junk? Nah, -ha. human idiot. Plaster, easy to do. Even for pesky humans. Tidy, no hole. No way. I beg to differ, your metal highness. Another piece of evidence strengthens my theory that you did this. Or at least that you're a big fat liar of a bot. Gott, wir haben noch eine ganze Menge hier vor uns, ey. Ähm Tidy wurde zuletzt beim Betreten der Toilette um 4.24 gesehen. Wir 
beweisen, dass Tidy lügt. Bum, bum. According to the monitoring, Tidy went into the restroom at 4.24. He was not recorded in any room after that. However, the screen in Dr. Hush's office states that he had been charging from 4.50 to 11.10. Nein, How could he be in the office if he didn't leave the restroom in the first place? Very simple. Yup, yup. Tidy prepares coffee. Daddy come, drink. Next, Daddy back office with Tidy. So, you're saying he opened the office door and you just followed him? Yup, yup. Okay. For now, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. In that case, let's examine the path of our favorite deceased doctor, shall we? I think you'll find it rather interesting as well. Tidy, no like insinuation. Before you move on, I have a simple question. What is that monitoring you're referring to? Oh yeah, that's true. You're not aware. The lab registers doors openings. Only guards are supposed to know. What the heck? All this time, we've been watched? I thought you were there to ensure our privacy. No, I'm there to ensure your physical security, making sure nobody threatens your life. What a great job you did. You lied to us. Not me. I didn't make this system. Then who did? The government, of course. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Fine. I'll send them a suggestion later then. Hmm. On the other hand, Tidy didn't seem surprised at all about the monitoring. Let's move on, shall we? There's something curious about the doctor's movement. Yeah, they ging raus and kam nie wieder zurück. Um. The last time Dr. Hush was recorded, he was leaving his office at 5.04. After that, he was nowhere to be found. This is confirmed by the guard's statements, if you don't mind explaining. Sure. At 5.10, I heard a noise coming from the doctor's room. But he wasn't there. Actually, no one seemed to be there. Although, Tidy was idle, charging. I started to look for the guy, but then I heard his voice coming from behind the wall. I'm in the restroom. Except this wasn't Dr. Hush at all, but a recording coming from the meaty me. A recording? Oh! Does this mean the body was in the restroom and the murderer didn't want Mr. Rat to see it? That's unlikely. The guard checks the rooms regularly and there's no hiding spot in there. Besides, keep in mind the ultimate goal, getting Dr. Hush in Dr. Mink's office. There's no way to move the body from the restroom to his office without going into the hall unnoticed. Lies! Okay, give us your version of the facts then. Daddy, come with me. Back to office. Before charging, Daddy head out. Daddy never forget. Daddy last words. I need to settle things with Dr. Mink. Daddy, meet Minky in hallway. Daddy follow Minky. Enter Minky office. Minky, give coffee to Daddy. Daddy dead. I gotta give credit to the tin can. Its version sounds way more plausible than your own, crack. Sure, Tidy has a bothersome recording. But how do we know when it was made? It's out of context. You could have very well recorded this and forged your so-called proof. Also, there's no monitoring record of Dr. Hush ever entering Dr. Mink's room. Wrong! Mink touches door, enter with Daddy. Then Minky, poison Daddy! The weasel went back to his room with the doctor? Look monitoring! When did Minky enter? 504. Ooh. Exact! Same minute that Daddy leaves. But I never did that! I never saw him today! Mr. God! I can't remember. Are you kidding me? Tidy, what about the voice the guard heard? Coincidence, meaty me faulty. Sometimes meaty me play livey randomly. Hmm, yes, I've seen it happen. And the hole, the coffee spot on the floor in your room? Already there, for ages. 
Rocky, prove the opposite? Well, the nanites... Nanites, machines, attracted to coffee. True, Minky? I can't dishonor my profession by lying. Yes, due to their hardware, nanites are attracted to caffeine and gather inside. So, after all, it really was your doing, Weasel. No! Oh, don't you listen to it! Mr. Detective, I told you the truth. You need to believe in me. Well, I have to side with the tin can. That's two against two. What do you think, Hot? I... Sorry, I'm getting lost with all these details. Guys, let me finish my theory, and then you shall decide. Fine. No, listen. Too tidy. Tidy, sad. Dead daddy. Gah. Let's focus. Tidy used the meaty me recording to avoid the guard getting worried that Dr. Hush disappeared. As a result of my assumptions, Dr. Hush could neither be in his room, the restroom, or the hall at 510. And as the monitoring confirms, he never entered Dr. Ming's room either. No way, man. That's impossible. I beg to differ. He couldn't just disappear into thin air, could he? Oh, he didn't. There's a fourth possibility, and I'm going to explain it to you. Hmm. Voila. Ah. Oops. The vent? Yeah, the ventilation duct. That's the only spot the body could be hidden without anyone noticing. Pure conjecture. You have any clue to support that insane claim? Sure do. Mmm. Tomato sauce? Yeah. Looks like the murderer didn't hesitate to put quite a lot to confuse us. Problem detected. What is it this time? Ventilation also used for delivery sometimes. Is that true? Yes. Big packages don't fit into the pipe mail, so they're delivered through the vent. It's possible the content of a package leaked. Obviously. Bam! Gotcha! Huh. Still... That would be a huge coincidence, don't you think? Let's assume you're right. In order to get into the vent, Dr. Hush would have to be in his office. He was. But you said it earlier. The last time he was recorded, he was leaving his room. How do you explain this? Okay, das ist ja nur, was er, dass er einen Knopf gedrückt hat. Das beweist ja nur, dass er den Knopf gedrückt hat, nicht, dass er rausgegangen ist. Er hat ja auch, ähm, ist ja nur äh, an die Tür gegangen. Und dafür haben wir sogar einen Beleg, weil er hat es genauso gemacht. Simple. Dr. Hush went back to his office. When? At 5.10, the guard came in. There's nothing before that. I know. He, uh, crawled on the ceiling and moved inside when the guard came in. Like Spider Mole. You know? Huh? No? Ah, oh, that's embarrassing. Let's pretend we didn't hear that. Okay. It's clear Dr. Hush never left his that, office. So. There's no monitoring entry between his exit and the time the guard checked the room. This was just an attempt from the criminal to direct our attention elsewhere. Even Tidy could use the doctor's hand on the button. Just enough to add this, this to the monitor. This would imply Dr. Hush was dead by then. Yes, actually. I think he was killed even before going into his office. Absurd. Oh, really? Well, I have another clue. Hmm. Und zwar... Jemand hat Kartons in der Gasse gestapelt. Das hat da nichts zu tun. Ähm, obwohl, das könnte natürlich... Ne? Ähm, oh. 
Ach so. Wo wurde er vergiftet? Na hier. Remember where the poison came from? The coffee. To poison him, it'd be easier to have Dr. Hush drink the coffee in his office. Except, he never does. Dr. Hush always drinks his coffee in the restroom. He's too maniacal to risk spilling drops while working. And yet, there's a coffee stain on the floor. What do you insinuate? That the stain was made when Dr. Hush was dead on the floor? This is exactly what I mean. Rocky liar! Daddy take coffee in office sometimes. Again, I'm afraid it's your word against his, detective. Yeah, it'd make a lot more sense that the doc spilled it by accident. Rocky, done for. Give up. No good. Even Mink starts to think my theory is too far-fetched. Am I really on the right path? Yeah. Everyone. Well, except Tidy. I know how all of this sounds. But please, allow me to continue and trust me. Silly Brocky. All right. Let's assume Dr. Hush drank his coffee in the restroom and died. To get into the vent, he would have to get back to his office first. How? Simple. Tidy can carry objects. You're saying this little metal thing carried Dr. Hush all the way to his room? <laughs> no way, man. I would have noticed. Are you certain? Should I jog your memory? Uh... At 4.38, the guard wasn't at his seat. He had received a phone call with terrible reception. When this happened, he opened the lab's main entrance to improve the signal. What? But on the line, no voice, only music. During that moment, he was looking away. Is that true, Mr. Rat? You blundered? Hey, you know how this is. Reception is terrible in here. Actually, you may not. After all, you've got no friends or anything. Ho, 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 ho. Ah, so it's true. He thought this was a spam call, but here's what I think. This was you, Tidy. It wouldn't be hard for you to simulate a phone call and play some music, am I right? He can. Rocky, what music? Okay. Tidy, play music. Oh, no thanks. Tidy, no call. Naha. Although the guard was still making sure no one could enter or exit the lab, at that moment, anything could have happened. Hmm. I'm trying to imagine Tidy carrying the doctor in the hall and opening the office door with his hand. It's technically possible. Just downright crazy. This would also explain why Tidy was found in Dr. Hush's room, even though he supposedly stayed in the restroom. Take it the other way around. What would be the point of this call farce if Dr. Hush was safe and sound while returning to his room? There would be nothing particularly disturbing. No. Tidy no call. Rocky death. So, when did he die? Between 424 and 438, as this is the time Tidy went into the restroom and left. Rocky ignores. Poor Tidy. Daddy dead. Your theory is accurate. There's still a lot that needs explaining. For example, how could Tidy put Dr. Hush into the vent? It's not like either of them could climb a ladder. Wrong. I know exactly how Tidy did. Don't forget Tidy's main ability. Extended arms. You know. Hmm. Are you serious? Impossible. Pray tell. Why would it be? Arms stretch to nine feet max. So what? Look! You're kidding, right? Ah, How can we know tush. it's not just pretending? Let me check its data. Hmm. I'm afraid it's true. It has extended its arms to the limit, which is nine feet. Dr. Hush's ceiling is the same height. Thus, Tidy couldn't reach the vent. No, no way. Aha! Told ya! Froggy theory, gone. Kaput. I need to think fast. Ah. I'm convinced Tidy was involved. He has to be. 
Was ist das? Rampe? There's a night. Take a look at the room configuration. Both scientists' offices are a reflection of one another. As such, the vent height is exactly the same in both rooms. How high is it? 10 feet. Yeah, the laser column in this room is 10 feet, and it goes up to the ceiling. And with Tidy's arms reaching 9 feet, that's not enough. Oh, Rocky agree. Admit defeat. No way. We're just missing a little something. The workbench. Tidy can stand on it. It's visibly about two to three feet high. But the metal thingy can't jump on there, can it? Not jump. This is the point of a ramp Dr. Hush designed for it. You told me yourself, Tidy. <laughs> tidy, learn. Close mouth. Sorry, Croc, but it seems like pure conjuncture. Oh, but I can prove it. You can? Go! Go, Mr. Brock! Was beweist, dass Tidy die Rampe hochgefahren hat? Ähm. Krümel auf der Rampe. Here's a picture of the room. Look, there are crumbs all over the table. Oh, that's true. Now, as you know, Dr. Hush is a neat freak. How could he leave crumbs everywhere? The answer is simple. Dr. Hush wasn't alive. Tidy, you crushed them while climbing on the ramp. Nuh-uh. Tidy woke late. Not cleaned. Yet. Oh, I wish for once you'd tell the truth. Admit it. That's what happened. You climbed up, stretched your arms to get in the vent, and put Dr. Hush inside. Then... You push the poor chap towards Dr. Mink's room. The more we talk, the more... <laughs> huh? Is it laughing? I... Huh? You what? Will you change your mind and pretend it's not possible for you to climb there? Hmm... Is possible. My pleasure. Huh? To see Brocky fall into own trap. Brocky lucky circumstances. But luck running out. Might you be more specific? Look, map. Ventilation duct two feet high. Tidy three feet high. Cannot bend, cannot fit. Plus, cannot stand on floor while pushing all way through. He's right. Tidy couldn't fit inside. And the distance is way too long to push all the way through the vent while standing on the ground. No. Oh. Rocky, done for. No. I... Um, I can prove how. Let's take a look at that picture again. This is how Tidy did it. 